Look at question number one. We are given a table and the y is a function uh, log 2x to the base 2. Use trapezium rule to obtain an estimate for integral 2 to 14 log 2x to the base 2 dx and give your answer to one decimal place. This question has three marks. So we are given this a table and we need to find the value of this integrand logarithm logarithmic function log 2x to the base 2 dx. The same question, sometime you won't be given this table. You won't be given this table. You need to create one. So how do we create that? If the table is not given, you will be given another information like the number of strips. The number of strips. It is like, let's say four strips. Four or five or six or eight. You will be given the number of strips. That means when you draw a curve, Using, uh, using Desmos or something when you draw the curve. We are basically finding the area under the curve between this limit 2 to 14. 2 to 14. Let's say this is our curve and we are finding this area 2 to 14. The trapezium rule is basically you divide the area into number of stripe, strips. Each strip is considered as a trapezium and find the area of each and every trapezium and add them up together. And the good news is in exam, you don't need to do all these things. There is a rule, there is a derived formula. You just plug in all these values in the formula. It will give you the, the value of this function, value of this integral. So now in this question, let's say the, the you are not given the table, but you are given the number of strips, 4. So first thing you do, you need to find your y is this. Your y is the integral, which is log 2x to the base 2 and your h, h is the width of uh, each trapezium which, which can be calculated using the upper lower limit and the number of strips. The formula is b minus a upon n, n is the number of strips which is 4 here and b is the upper limit, a is the lower limit, upper limit minus lower limit so which is 12 upon 4 is 3 you got this. Let's say, for why I'm doing this? Because if you are not given the table, you need to create one before you uh, you jump into this uh, trapezium rule. So you got H. Now we are going to uh, create a table with X and Y values. X value start from, uh, X value starts from the lower limit. The lower limit is two. So, and you'll be continuously adding uh, H to this value until you reaches uh, until it reaches uh, the upper limit upper limit is 40 so when, when you keep adding this 3 2 plus 3 5 plus 3 8 plus 3 11 plus 3 and stop it right there because that's our upper limit that's what our x value is then y value is so simple use your calculator substitute the x value here so uh, when you substitute log 4 to the base 2 find the value and log, log 2 times 5, 10 to the base 2 and write your y values here if, if you are not given the table. But in this question, you don't need to do all this because you are given a table already. You just need to substitute the values in the trapezium rule. You will get the, uh, this value of this function already. Then convert it to one decimal place. Now the trapezium rule is h upon 2, h is the width of the trapezium, here it's uh, the difference actually, it's 3. So h by 2 into y0 plus yn, y0 means the first y value, yn means the last y value, plus 2 into sum of all rest of the y values, sum of all rest of the y values. But in general form, it will be y1 plus y2 plus etc. yn minus 1. The term before yn. You need to add the rest of the terms. If you think it's so difficult, the trapezium rule is difficult. You don't need to memorize this. You can straight away write your answer. Your h is the difference of so 3 upon 2 into. You write the first and last value. 2 plus 4.81 plus 2 times the rest, sum of the rest of the values which is 3.32 plus 
plus 4 plus 4.46. And use your calculator to simplify this, that's your answer. You don't need to worry about anything at all. But if it is, if the table is not given, you have to create one, you need to find H. The formula is B minus A divided by number of strips. And start from lower limit, keep on adding uh, H un until you reach the upper limit. Then find the corresponding Y values. My answer is 45.55 etc. So I round it to one decimal place, it will be 45.6. We need to write this answer in one decimal place. So this question has three marks. So let's move on to part B. Part B has uh, two questions. Number one is integral two to you need to find uh, using using your using the answer in part A and making your methods clear, estimate integral 2 to 14 log 4x squared to the base 2 or upon 5 dx and the second one integral 2 to 14 log 2 upon x to the base 2 dx. So our part B has two questions. Question number one is this and uh, question number two here. Total marks, four marks. Of course we need to use the value that we got in uh, deriving part A. Using this part A, we are going to find the uh, value of these two functions. First, take the first one. Integral 2 to 14 log 4x square to the base 2 upon 5 dx. And you are not supposed to integrate because the question clearly says you need to evaluate this by using the answer in part A. That means somehow, somehow, you need to get this function log 2x here, but we don't have log 2x, all we have is log 4x squared. So what I'm going to do, I write this as upon 5 dx, I write this function as log 2x whole square to the base 2. Because 4 can be written as 2 square, 2 square x square can be written as 2x whole square. The reason why I am converting this to 2x whole square is because we need log 2x. So if you can write this by using the laws of logarithms, you can write this 2 in front here. So you can convert this whole thing to 2 to 14, 2 log 2x to the base 2 upon 5 dx. Because your laws of logarithms says if you have log a to the power b, can be written as b log a. The exponent power can be written in front here uh, as the b can be bring here so you can convert this to this. That's our laws of logarithms. Now we have log 2x here. You can substitute the value but the 2 and 5 is constant. Keep it outside. You write it as 2 upon 5 integral 2 to 14 log 2x to the base 2 dx. Now you can substitute this value, replace this whole function integral by 45.6. So your answer will be 2 upon 5 into 45.6. And just uh, find this using your calculator. That's your value. That's it. Always you can be given any weird looking function. Always try to do rearrange or something so that uh, so try to sneak in this function into the given function so you can replace replace this this function by forty five point six. Look at the question. If the question says one decimal place, write it as eighteen point two. Otherwise, leave it as it is. That's it. If you take a look at part two, you have log two upon x. But we need log 2x, then only we can replace it by 45.6. So what I'm going to do now, I multiply this function and divide this function, function by 2. So it becomes log 4 upon 2x to the base 2 dx. I multiply, it and, I multiply and divide this by 2. Multiply the numerator and denominator by 2, it becomes 4 upon 2x. I have log 2x here, if I apply this loss of logarithms, it can be written as 2 to 14 log 4 minus log 
2x dx to the base 2. If you don't know what I'm doing, go learn the log, uh, laws of logarithms. It says whenever you have log a upon b, it can be written as log a minus log b. And now just simple integration. Simple integration. Log to 4 to the base 2. You can apply laws of logarithm to simplify. Otherwise, just simply use your calculator. The value will be 2. So, integral 2 to 14, 2 minus log. Otherwise, I split it into 2 integral 2 dx minus integral 2 to 14, log 2x to the base 2 dx. Simply split them into two integrals. The first one minus second. First one, if you find this value, sorry you will get 2, so 2 dx. And again, integrate this, it becomes 2x, the limits 2 to 14 minus this value we know already, 45.6. So when you substitute upper limit minus lower limit, you will get 14 minus 2, which is 12, 2 times 12, 24 minus 45.6. When you subtract this, when you subtract this, you will get 24, so 21.6 minus 21.6 if I'm not wrong, minus 21.6. That's it, that's your answer. But here the main thing is, you are given this function, there is no log 2x in there. So you need to do something to get this log 2x in here. So what I did, I multiplied and divide the uh, fraction. I multiply both numerator and denominator by 2, so I got log 2x. Then apply laws of logarithms, then rest all easy.